Now in this video, we are going to have a look at how you can take the Estimation 180 task to the next level with your students. Now, if you haven't actually watched the video on how Estimation 180 works, it's really important that you do so. So check out the link that's in the description below. But if you have watched that, then let's roll the intro. Now my name's Tom and I've used this activity a number of times with my students. And Estimation 180 is an absolutely brilliant activity to use with your students, but like anything else, you can always enrich it even further. So I'm gonna show you how I've gone through and used it with my students and taught them about how to work with spreadsheets and even looking at some algebra as well as part of this. So let's have a look first of all at Estimation 180. Now as you saw here, this is the type of activity that you've got and you've got 20 days all within this one page. And what I do is I get the students to go through and do them pretty much five days at a time. I don't get them to do any more than that because that takes quite a while, but five days at a time is enough time to go through and allow students to have a bit of fun with it and really get engaged with it. And then what it means you can do is you can actually develop a spreadsheet that looks a little bit like this. As you can see here, I've grouped them into lots of five. So day one to five here, day six to 10, as you can see along there like that. And this is why I do it in days of five, because it takes probably about 10 minutes to go through and do five days, maybe a little bit longer. It depends really on how quick you go through it. Now, as you can see here, I've gone through and entered my estimations from the last video that I did. So I put too high was two meters for, for Mr. Stadel, too low was one meter, and my estimate was 1.89 but the actual answer was 1.93. Whereas for Mrs. Stadel on day two, well, I said too high was 1.93, too low was 0.93, and my estimate for her was 1.69 meters, but her actual height was 1.65. Now that's all well and good, I've put all that data in, but this is where you can actually get students to learn how to do some spreadsheeting and give it some meaning as well, because we can actually turn this into a bit of a competition. Now, if we have a look here, I can turn, I can find out the difference first of all. So to find the difference, what I'm gonna do is just click on the equal sign, and then I'm going to go E2, because the name of the cell that I wanna do is I wanna go the actual answer minus the estimate that I had. So E2 minus, now my estimate was in the cell D2. So I'm just gonna go minus D2 like that and press enter. Now, of course, it was 0 0.04 or four centimeters. Now, if I have a look at this again, what you can see here, I'll, I'll do exactly the same thing again. So I'm going to go, I wanna find out what the difference was. So I'm gonna go E2, Oh, sorry, E3, because this is in the cell E3, and then minus D3. So I go equals, and I go E3 minus D3. Press enter. Now, as you can see here, that this one here is actually negative 0.04, because my estimate that I put in was actually four centimeters more than the other one. And, and that's a bit interesting, and we'll come back to that in a second. Now, if I actually wanted to continue this same pattern on, I actually don't need to write in equals E3 minus D, D3. For example, I wouldn't need to go equals E4 minus D4. What I can actually do is just highlight these and just drag this down like that, and that'll actually automatically do it for me. So if I put these in here, so for example, if this one here was 13 and this one here was 15, it would automatically calculate the difference of two for me. But that wasn't actually what the case was in there, and you can get the students to go through and uh, essentially do it as they go. Now, what I might wanna do then is I might wanna calculate the sum, that is my total difference. Now, if I go equals, and if I wanna calculate the sum of all of it, I can just go sum and then brackets, and then I can actually highlight all of this. Now, my total difference should equal eight centimeters, but what happens is that doesn't actually work because I had 0 0.04, I was four centimeters below on this one, whereas I was actually four centimeters above on this one, and therefore it comes out as a total difference of zero. Well, no, my total difference should be eight, and this is why I've got the absolute column in here as well. And to do that, what you can just do is go equals, and you go A, B, S for absolute. We then go bracket, and I'm gonna just choose the absolute value of this. And what that means is any negative answers become a positive answer. So again, if I wanna do that, I can go equals A, B, S, bracket, and I can click on this one here being F3, close bracket, and it will turn the negative into a positive. And once again, like anything, I can just drag that down here to continue the pattern on. And if I wanna calculate the total, all I need to go is equals sum, and I just highlight all of these here, like this, and press enter and you can now see that it's actually calculated the absolute difference that I have, which is of course is eight centimeters. And that's what we're more interested in because that removes the negatives below or above that you could possibly have. So as you can see there, we're actually getting students to think about spreadsheeting and we're also getting students to have a think about 
algebra as well because each cell is Got it, has got a name or, or an algebraic term or a variable and, and we're calling it a name rather than actually giving it a number value which is quite helpful to students as well. So if you like this activity guys make sure you click on the link that's just up here now so that you can go through and watch all of the other videos that Maths Pathway has gone through and developed and that you can use with your classes as well. And also if you did like it make sure you remember to like, comment and subscribe to hear all about what Maths Pathway is getting up to in terms of sharing activities and resources with you. Thank you very much for tuning in, my name's Tom Moore.